Hey, Amanda here from Dynamics. I'll be giving you a quick tutorial today on how to use the cavity feature in SolidWorks Assembly. This tool is great for representing tool design and overmolded parts. Overmolding is the process of injection molding plastic over another component. This component could be hardware such as threaded inserts, bolts, uh, other fastening devices. It can also be other plastic components, an example of this being the soft rubber you see surrounding the grip on a power tool. So for the first step in using this feature, open up an assembly file in SolidWorks, then import the part you are going to imprint the cavity in and the part itself. So for this demo, I'll be showing how a bolt would be overmolded. I've quickly drawn up a representative cylinder for the part that we will be creating a cavity in and the bolt that will be creating the cavity. First, mate the bolt within the cylinder. This will require you to clip the bolt through the cylinder. After you've done this, you will then right click on the part you wish to create the cavity in and click edit part. Save and continue. From here, go insert, features, cavity. Select the part that you wish to use to imprint the cylinder. As you can see, you can adjust the scale of the cavity. This can be useful for tolerances and representing shrinkage in creating cavities and tool design. We won't need to touch it for this demonstration as we're overmolding this bolt. Uh, note that the cylinder is quite thick, so in reality, this wouldn't be injection molded. It's just for demonstration purposes. I'll just quickly section the part so you can see the effect of the cavity feature. If you want to get in touch with us for your project, just visit dynamics.com.au or give us a call on the below number. Dynamics, where ideas are molded by experience.